Kingdom. It is a rainy or drizzly, very windy day. Uh, so we decided it's going to be a good day to pub crawl. Now, we're going to first stop is going to be the, another Weather Spoons pub behind me. It's called the King and Castle. They have a ton of cascales. So stick around, join us in there. I'm going to take the camera real quick and show you Windsor Castle. And a bus, apparently. And then down the street, oh yeah. And then down the street here in Windsor. Alright, into the King and Castle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside now the King and Castle Club in Windsor. Uh, got a, quite a few brews here. This first one that we're going to try is a cask conditioned ale. I'm going to see if you can uh, see this here. It's from the Saltair Brewery of handcrafted ales. It's called Triple Chocoholic. Chocolate Ooh. malts, real chocolate, and chocolate syrups make this stout a real chocolate bomb. 4.8 percent alcohol by volume. Let's see if you can uh, see that. No. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Got it good? Mm -hmm. Alright. So let's try. That's this one. Oh, wow. Where is it from? Somewhere here. Ooh. Very chocolate. Oh my goodness. Definitely chocolate syrup. Flavor. Strong chocolate syrup. Like, like the Hershey stuff. You just Ooh. Okay, let me try. It sounds too good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to keep this one. Oh, are you? It tastes like someone just poured some Hershey syrup. In. Yeah, it really does. That is delicious. What would you rate it? Nine and a half. I think I would give it a nine and a half too. It's delicious. I mean, if you and the thing is, so since it's on cask, it's mild in oh, terms this is of cask? it's cask. So okay, it's then 10. okay. So it's mild in terms of it's not like bitey at all. There's yeah. none none of the stout bite to it in the least. So let me see if I can. Oh, it's pretty pretty packed over there right now. This is inside the King and Castle. Yeah, it's packed over there right now, so I can't get to it. But like I said, that's the Salt Hair Brewing Triple Chocoholic, I think it was called. Yeah. So anyway, we'll be back. That's delicious. Check it out. We'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back at the King and Castle Pub in Windsor, England. Um, it's a really crappy day outside, as you might have seen in the previous video, so we decided to stay inside. We're going to pump it up. This next brew right here... No, sorry, that's not the one. It's this one here. Since that's on cask. This is the Daleside Spring Rye. A golden rye ale with a sharp citrus finish. 4.8% alcohol by volume. And it is on cask. Got it? Cool. Alright. That's good. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's really good. I'm kind of, I'm kind of starting to run out of words for the Cascales because they're, there are certain exceptions, but they all have a very similar thing. There are exceptions such as that, uh, and some of the more like Scotch heavy ones. But I mean, it's really good. It's interesting and bright, like they said it is. Um, I mean, I like it. I just don't know too much to say about it. The, slight, the same slightly sweet yeah. aftertaste. Maybe a little more hoppy and citrusy, but yeah. It's good, though. I, I, I like it. I'm going to give this a shot. Ooh. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Yeah. Yeah, they're all delicious. I really like this one. It's um, very citrusy, but not like not too hoppy. Right. Either. So sometimes, I mean, I like don't get me wrong. I like IPAs and stuff like that, but 
sometimes when it doesn't taste too happy, it's kind of refreshing. Yeah, yeah, I know, you know? what you mean. Yeah. So what would you rate that, you think? This one, probably an eight. Yeah, I think I'd I give really it about that. I can probably get in on that one. There's the casks. Nah, I can't see it. Anywho, we'll be back. We've got another brew to do, so stick around. Join us again.